Okay, why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Gary Orenstein, the Vice President of Product and Technical Marketing at Fusion IO. Uh, and for our readers who may not be familiar with your company already, why don't you tell us what Fusion IO does? Fusion IO is focused on accelerating applications and databases by using flash memory to go into data center servers. And what that does, the products that we make are called IO drives. They're PCIe cards that you can put in your server. And by having the data on that fast flash memory, the applications and databases get much faster than if you were to have that data on traditional spinning disks. So benefits to the customers are that they're able to get more value from their data more quickly. Uh, they also don't have to build these very large and complicated uh, storage systems out of hundreds and hundreds of disk drives. They can get that same performance right on one of our I.O. drives that pops right into a single server. So we're here this morning at the, the GigaOM Big Data Conference in New York. There's a lot of discussion about big data sets and how you uh, make use of them and gain intelligence from them. How does the growth of, of big data factor into uh, a Fusion I.O. And, and, and what you guys do? Yeah, there's been a lot of great discussion this morning at the uh, Structure Big Data Conference. One of the Two of the most interesting themes I think that I've seen is one is, yes, when we talk about big data, sure, that implies that we're talking about large data sets. But one of the things that I've seen is that it is more about how you are able to collect, uh, process, and deal with that data uh, on a real-time basis. And so, obviously, when you get performance improvements, that is something that can go a long way to helping you process the data in multiple data streams. The other big theme, theme that's been a part of this uh, discussion this morning is the availability of, of getting answers. Um, we had a, a comment this morning from one of the panelists that, you know, if you ask your uh, data warehouse a question and it takes you days to get the answer, you're not likely to ask another question. But if you ask the question and boom, in a split second you can get the answer, it sparks the next question and the next question. And you can start over time to extract more value of the data. So I think that two of the interesting themes are, one, you know, how do we work with these new data flows and collecting them and processing them and doing the right things in terms of sorting, indexing, and archiving, but then also how do we just get more answers more quickly so that we can get value and extract value out of the data. So there was a lot of discussion about the velocity, the sort of real-time component of processing data and making decisions. What are some of the particular use cases where companies that have those requirements are, are turning to, to, to Fusion I.O. and its products. Right. So uh, we've done a case study with a company called Data Logics that uh, processes data. They do some consumer targeting uh, of that data. And they were able to achieve many-fold improvements in their data warehouse queries because they took that data off of rotating mechanical disk drives and put it on Fusion I.O. drives based on flash memory. And so the benefit for them is that they're able to get faster answers, uh, and more relevant answers to help their customers draw insight from that consumer data. And we see this over and over again, that folks who are trying to get place queries on their data sets and sometimes having to wait hours uh, or longer can now get that time down to minutes by using Fusion IO products. So the benefit, of course, is the performance is really number one, uh, but then what we also find is that they're doing this with less equipment. So what might have taken a lot of space and power and cooling in the data center with a large complicated storage area network can now be solved by putting this data on just a simple I.O. drive, again, that can fit inside a server. So when we talk about flash as opposed to disk storage, usually there's a discussion about, about cost versus what you're going to get out of it. What's that, that whole sort of uh, issue look like right now as people try to sort out the value proposition for, for flash products? Right. I think the really interesting thing to think about when you're looking at the cost is to look at the application level or the database level in terms of how many users can I support on this given application per dollar spent or how many transactions can I improve, how many transactions per second can I increase per dollar spent. So 
obviously there's a different cost for flash media than there is for traditional disk drives, but that's not really the, the point. The point is we're trying to solve problems with data, make sense of it, support more users on our applications, support more transactions on our databases, and when you take the, uh, that equation into consideration, most, of our, uh, uh, most people will find that the benefits of using flash memory are significant and easily justify uh, any expenditure on that kind of solution. So what are some of the industries and the kind of applications where you're, you're seeing early recognition of the value proposition and, and where a Fusion I.O. sees growth for, it, uh, for its flash memory products? Absolutely. Well, we're here in New York City, so obviously it would be a shame not to talk about financial institutions. Sure. And of course, nobody uh, perhaps greater than financial institutions uh, work with the time is money uh, theme. And so we have several customers that are using our products in those kind of situations to accelerate trading applications, but also to accelerate the analysis of the data. For example, being able to go through one day's trading information and process that and analyze it in advance of the next day opening. So where historically hitting that window might have been difficult due to the time constraints that were involved, now financial institutions can run the queries, get the analysis, get the answers that they want in advance of the market opening the following day. We also see great examples in the web world where uh, you know e-commerce companies or folks who are delivering data to millions or hundreds of millions of users across the world are able to deliver more data more quickly to more users by using flash memory as part of the underlying infrastructure and using Fusion IO drives in order to do that. So the financial industry is a great one, the uh, web world is another great example, but we also see examples in manufacturing, in retail, in government, in energy, you name it. It really is a horizontally applicable uh, uh, issue at hand. Uh, everybody in the world uses some kind of database and application to run their business, whether that's a smaller company all the way up to the gigantic companies. And folks traditionally have had to struggle with putting these kind of infrastructures together with spinning, rotating mechanical disks. Now we're fortunate enough as an industry to be at a state where flash media can provide both the performance and the affordability when you look at it in terms of how much application benefit can I get uh, to, to basically help people solve these problems. Listen, Gary, thanks so much for taking a few minutes to, to talk with us today. Really appreciate it, Rich. Thank you.